Hello everyone, Bobbert the Builder here again. There you go, see my hands. We have something new on the channel that I've never done before. Something I've wanted to do, but I haven't had the chance until now. So what is it we're doing? Well, we're, review we're reviewing a Transformer. Yes, this is the Kingdom Red Alert. I wanted to get my hands on one of these Kingdom or Siege uh, figures for a while, but they're so damn pricey. However, I picked this one up at Walgreens for $30, I think. I can't remember. They put too much tax on these. But we're going to start here in vehicle mode, which I'm going to be honest here. I really don't. I'm a Transformers geek, but I've only watched a little bit of the show on Netflix, just, just a touch, and I haven't really got into their, like, Earthrise modes, but I am I know G1 when I see it and this is definitely G1 inspired Lamborghini Which one I don't know. I'm not a Lamborghini person But I you know what I've not had many Transformers figures in my lifetime and this one is really good shout out to um, the lazy eyebrow and prime versus prime both amazing channels uh, po super popular who have both reviewed this figure and you know what? Lazy Eyebrow did a good job revealing this. I'll be honest, this here ruins any ability to make realistic details. Like, cause like, he does, you know, adds mods that make it look more realistic. I don't know what you could really do to this. I still think there's a lot of Cybertronian mode in this. I've seen the Siege, and I know that this is all just black windshield area. There's just not a lot to talk about if you look underneath i mean average robot kibble down here it's not not terrible if we come around to the front here you know what it has a really good look i don't understand the point of a lamborghini in fire service i know that there's lamborghinis in like police service but i never understood the fire service thing uh, this is just me going on about things i don't understand I do wish the wheels were different. These share the same wheels as the Cybertronian Siege, which is kind of crappy. Because I w looked at this and at first I thought it was the Siege. And then when I got home, I realized it was the Kingdom Earth mode. I was like, oh, that makes sense. Now, credit to Lazy Eyebrow figuring out this nitpick. If this door did actually open, it would hit this. But you also have to remember, Lamborghini doors go out and up, so maybe you'd be able to pull the door out enough before it ever hit the light bar in real life. Just food for thought there. The louvers. What an amazing detail. But the lack of a spoiler makes me angry. I don't see why they couldn't have put one right, right here, like he's, Lazy Eyebrow said. You could have just, and he's been working on one. I don't have a 3D printer. I do know people that do have a 3D printer. And, honestly, I, I think maybe, I don't know. Anyways, here's here's a look at the uh, vehicle for you guys. This is my first Transformer I'm reviewing, so give me a little slack here on this. I'm not sure really to go with it. So, shall we move on to transformation? I think that's all I have to say about the vehicle mode, other than it has great details. And... I wish this wasn't here. I understand it's there for the robot mode, but it just looks so out of place to have this big chunk of black. And another thing too, it needs it needs so much more red. I might paint red, I add some red to mine. I do uh, my scale model stuff and I can airbrush some nice more details on it. But so far I haven't had any paint chipping issues and the color matching on this is okay. It's not like if you've ever seen any Bumblebee figurines or the hoist. Earthrise hoist. I mean, it's pretty bad on camera, but in person it's okay. I will say when I got my copy of this, one of the wheels didn't want to roll very well. I had to sand down the inside of the hubs. So, transformation. This guy's super simple. I figured I wouldn't, when I bought one of these, I would forget how to transform it in the first five minutes. But I, I, I let my sister play with it, and she figured out how to transform it. And I didn't even have to show her or tell her anything. So, my first steps are... Fold out these flaps, pull your arms out, just, just, just like 
that. Make sure this is like that. Pull your hands out. Just put them in a, in a T pose, shall we? Make sure to keep those flaps right here out. Can you just... There you go. Okay, we now we have T-posing red alert. You then want to fold open these flaps. Now, you, you can open this and fold down... No, 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 no. Wait, wait a minute. All right, we're, we're not going to... We're just going to pull this and fold that out like that. You're then going to... Voila. Now, should be able to flip this down. Some interference right here, but it's not earth shattering, so like that. Then you're going to spin the whole torso around. Bam. Fold in these flaps. Fold down this. Now, there is some interference with these little things here with this fold mechanism. I haven't had too much an issue. And then you take this piece here and want to unsplit the legs that's not fun at all I don't like this I wish they would have just meshed together but this does lock it in place and make the car mud look better and then another thing I like to do is just like that it'll push this in which is also part of the vehicle mode right here fold out the foot vice versa on the other one push in his back of his leg pull out the foot get him to stand can you stand, sir? There we have it. Red alert in robot mode. Can you... There we go. So, what do I think of this guy? Well, me not knowing much about this guy. I, I, I'm going to be honest, I don't know much. So, this is just me going on about... This is totally unscripted here. Um, why don't we talk about articulation? I've watched plenty of videos, so I understand articulation is a big thing. Starting at the head, every ball joint can swivel. Put his head back there. You got 360 degrees. That's good. Elbow, you know, out. Can we get a beautiful spread? Yes, we can. That is a beautiful spread. Um, obviously, we have the waist swivel. No ab crunch, which I don't really expect for a kingdom. Maybe for a higher price point figure, but this is fine. Um, got nice knee articulation. Obviously, it's not like a two-part joint like some other figures. One thing that really impresses me with this is how good the ankle pivot is. Check this out. That is some good ankle pivot. Look at that. I'm not, not touching it or anything. Okay, now I am. Okay. And obviously you have good good hip movement. You can go back that far. And forward that far. And that's better than the Earthrise Prime, I think. I think Lazy Eyebrow on the Earthrise Prime had to like... Cut. A lot of these figures have a really big like shoulder or hip guard that gets in the way. This guy is awesome. That's why I got him. I, I, he had a really good articulation. And he's a good figure, and they've used him for another mold. If anyone's seen the Gigawatt review or the Gigawatt himself, that's a decent, that's a uh, a decent um decent figure. It it is a remold, or should I say, this specific mold, but with the DeLorean part. So like this would be the hood of the DeLorean, the back of the DeLorean, the top. I mean, I I could see why they did that, and they didn't even really change the head. All they did was change the eyes. If we look, he does have some blue. No light piping, but they are like a greenish blue color. Similar to like his little headlights down here. And you know what? This guy is just, can he do the superhero pose? Can he do the, no, I don't know if he can do the superhero pose. No, he, he can't really do a lot, of, a lot of poses. Can he do, I don't even know if I can put him in the prime pose. No. Anyways. Should we talk about accessories? This guy comes with uh, a couple. One of them being his little light bar is part of this... I don't even think it had a name. I don't even have the box. Anyways, we have his rocket launcher. Which, um... Is pretty dope. It just plugs right here into this slot, which is also where these plug into. And you can just... I can get this to there we go and now he has a little rocket launcher now I know on other versions of this mold like I think sideswipe 
This has a little handle and it's a little extra gun. As Lazy Eyebrow pointed out, it's just a little road flare. Or a marker. Or maybe he's waving down an airplane. It could be anything you want. Although I do like this Megatron looking rocket launcher thing up here. It's cool. But that's not all. There is this blaster. It's pretty good. There's a lot of nice detail on it. It's very large, too. Something I noticed that I don't know if anyone else pointed out in the reviews is you can combine these to make the most unnecessarily long sniper rifle on the planet. You just gotta take this, and you plug the butt of that one into the nose of that one, and it is not easy to have it hold in his hands, so you just wanna... into the 5mm port system. Thank the world, thank the gods for the 5mm port system, and then you wanna take it and plug it into his hand up here. And now he just has an unnecessarily large rifle that he can't do anything but hold. Because he's so small. What would he be shooting with it? Who knows? Maybe Decepticons on Cybertron from Long Range Point? You never know. But we're gonna... God, this is the tightest... I didn't realize how tight the tolerances on these toys were. Oh, he just fell until I got this. But... You can stick this in his hand. Stick this up on his shoulder, I guess you can. Kind of. It's transformer anatomy. But that is Red Alert. Kind of nice. Um, you know, I'm thinking about trying to get Wheeljack or Trax. Because those are two molds I would love to have. For some reason, Walgreens only had Red Alert, and that made me kind of angry. But it was cheap, and I wanted one, so... Yeah. Oh, before we go, I have to I have to mention this. There's somebody in the comments who knows Transformers is going to get pissed. Here we go. Mm -hmm. It's like one of those, but jobby! No. Shut up. Here. I can do this. I, I don't understand the point of it. Is it a hammer? Is it a healing tool? Nobody knows. But, you know, these these figures, every, every year they release something new and a little bit better. <clears throat> I will say there are some that are just, I don't even want to look at. I won't even mention them. But there are others that, like this one, that are simple. You can enjoy it. I'm enjoying it. I've been enjoying it. As we finish here, I'm going to transform him back into car mode. Anyone want to tell me what Lamborghini he looks like in the comments? Be my guest. I am not the Italian car guru. At all. Correct me. All you want. There is one last thing I'm going to mention before we go here. Oh, got to keep these. Don't forget to keep these out till like the very end or you'll look like a dingus. I see these tolerances. It's just not it's bad comedy. Car. Little light bar. Maybe if they made it like two little nubbins on the end of this white piece. I I don't Anyways, back into car mode. Weapon storage, honestly, whatever you want. You got ports on the side here, and ports underneath, but that doesn't really help unless you're storing this. So yeah, that is <clears throat> my review on Kingdom Red Alert. That's all for now. Until the next video.